Using a 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Take your wheel, remove it, set it aside. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and go to our little plastic retainers. We're gonna unscrew that. Take out the center and use your trim tool to get behind the back of the button. And go ahead and pop that out. And repeat for this one right here. Let's go ahead and pull our shield down a little bit. On the front side of this shield is gonna be another plastic little retainer. I'm gonna use our trim tool to go ahead and pop that out. Once that button is out, go ahead and pull that shield out. Now inside the passenger side wheel well, we're gonna use our trim tool to remove these four plastic push pins right here. Once we have all four of these out, we'll go ahead and repeat for the other side. On the side of our bumper here, we have two seven millimeter bolts. Let's go ahead and remove these two here. Once we remove these two, we'll go ahead and do the same for the other side. Across the front portion of our bumper, there are a series of these plastic retainer clips using your trim tool. Let's go ahead and remove all of these. Now in the very center of the bumper, there is a retainer clip. We're gonna reach up to there with a pair of pliers. We're gonna pull out the center of that button. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter socket and remove this bolt. One in the middle. And one over on the driver's side. What we're gonna do is go ahead and remove our shield here. Now you already have your vehicle supported on jack stands. What you want to do is put your jack underneath the front portion of the cross member. We're not going to lift the vehicle. We just want to support it at this point. So just apply just a little bit of pressure just to hold it. Underneath the front, right beside your radiator, you're going to have your sub subframe mount right here. There's a bolt right here that goes up through. We have one on the driver's side as well. We're going to go ahead and use our 18 millimeter socket and we're going to loosen both of these bolts. Now we have our bolts loosened. We didn't remove them completely. If you can reach up top and you can actually move the bushing around a little bit, have some play. We're going to go ahead and jack up our cradle a little bit. 
want to make sure that our jack is supporting the front. We can see we have a little bit of play in our bolt right here. So with the front cradle supporter, we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt and assembly here. On the driver's side, let's go ahead and remove this other mount bolt right here. Now with those two bolts removed, we're going to slowly lower our jack and bring our cradle down ever so slowly. Now between the subframe and the body of the vehicle, you wanna go ahead and pull out this part of the mount. Around the perimeter here, we wanna go ahead and use our chisel tip. We're gonna work our perimeter uh, of the seal itself. Try not to damage the aluminum subframe as we're doing so. work our way around the perimeter trying to work the whole seal unit out of the subframe. So with our chisel wedged in here we have part of our bushing removed. We're going to go ahead and use our air chisel and we're just going to go on the other side of it here. We're going to work on it from both sides. The other side is already coming down. We have a little bit of a gap here. So continue to work your chisel around there. We're going to work it from the other side again. So what we did was we used our air hammer or air chisel to roll back the flange around the mount itself. Now we're able to put the puller tool on here. I'm gonna to continue to work this pulling or pressing that bushing out. Okay, so at this point here, we're able to push uh, or press out our bushing. All right, we have our bushing lubed up here. We're gonna use another jack to go ahead and push us up into our subframe. And our bushing is slowly going into place as we lift that subframe. And the bushing is slowly going up into place. What we'll do is we're gonna work our jacks back and forth. and our bushing is being pressed in, is being seated as we speak. We used a collar here that fit right around the outer perimeter. We're gonna lower our cradle back down. Now you wanna take this bushing right here and it goes between the subframe. It's right on top of your mount and between the frame itself. Now we can go ahead and raise the subframe back up into place. Once it gets close, 
I'm going to go ahead and put our cap and our bolt in here. Go ahead and get that started a few threads. Now with both of our bolts started, let's jack up our subframe, get that up into place. Let's go ahead and tighten down our bolts. Let's go ahead and tighten these bolts down. Repeat for the other side. Let's get and torque these bolts down to 107 foot-pounds. Repeat for the other side. Now with our subframe bolted up, we're going to go ahead and remove our jack from the subframe. I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. Let's go ahead and install our under cover here. I'm going to go ahead and start installing our three 10 millimeter bolts. Let's go ahead and install our screws on the lower passenger side here. Once we get these two in, let's go ahead and repeat the same process for the driver side. We're not going to tighten these down yet, just get them started. Let's going to install our front retainer buttons here. And go ahead and repeat this process across the whole front. Let's go ahead and tighten up our seven millimeter screws on the passenger side. Once it snugs up just a little bit more, get this one here. And then once we complete tightening this one up here, we'll go ahead and repeat for the driver's side. Let's tighten down our three 10 millimeter bolts. So install our four fender liner buttons here. Let's go ahead and install our splash shield here. Let's go ahead and install our retainer buttons. And we have our third one to install up in the front here. We're going to install our clip up inside here and just push that in. I'm going to feed our locking button up and into place. This needs to slide around the splash guard here. It might take you a couple tries to get it in. Then you take the center button, line that up, and push that up and in. Let's go ahead and install your wheel. Let's get our lug nuts started. We need them all started by hand. And we'll go ahead and snug them up. Let's go ahead and snug these up.
go ahead and torque our wheels down to 100 foot-pounds. 